I'm show you how to mount the 2011 to 2016 front bumper replacement for Frontier's front end. This truck is a 16, but it goes from 11 to 16. The 17s are going to change. We need to take this bumper off. In order to do that, there is on each side there's a brace that mounts from the outside of the bumper into the frame there and there's two bolts on each side that by the frame that you need to take loose. It's a 13 millimeter. You can use an air ratchet or socket or um, regular ratchet. If you got air, air ratchet it's good. Right here there's two, after you get braces done on each side, there's two 18 millimeter bolts right here that need to be done on each side. Two on each side. You get those done and then the bumper will come off. We have actually, the, the fog lights, if you have fog lights, there's a harness underneath there you need to unplug. I've already unplugged that when we get the bumper off. We're going to show you how to unplug that harness and exactly where that brace is for the 13 millimeter bolts. Dylan here is going to come over here and take out these two. We're going to get a guy on each side and we're going to put it on the little sawhorse roller here. And then we're going to show you how to um, take the side braces off. Okay, Dylan, go ahead. There's a little flap that's like an air dam in there that keeps the wind from going to the cooler. I forgot to take it loose. It pops loose pretty easy. There's just three little pegs in there. I'm going to pop that loose. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to take this bumper. We're going to put it over here. Let me show you the brackets that got to come loose from underneath here. Right here is where the two 13 millimeters go on each side that bolt to the truck up underneath here. We're on the truck over here. You can see there's a little side bracket on the frame right there. That's where them things bolt to. On this little light clip harness, you see when you take it loose the other end it's gonna have like a little a little flange that you just push down right there and it just pulls loose. It, it's real easy to take that little clip loose there and your bumper will come off. If you don't have lights you won't have to worry about that. But again, on each side, you're going to have two 13 millimeter bolts, and we're going to show you how to put brackets on the lights. Where we're going to take the light out, we did one side just to refresh our memories, but to take the light out, you need to go ahead and take this bracket off. It's going to make it a little bit easier. We're using a 13 millimeter um, to take those two bolts out. To get those 13 to 13 millimeter bolts out we need to go ahead and take this harness you, there's a little clip here you need to unplug your light and then you can go ahead this little peg in there pull that out you're going to take this harness right here out of the bumper when you get these lights all put in your front end replacement and you're going to replace it in your front end replacement you to get your lights plugged back in i got an eight millimeter nut driver right here there's one little bolt right here and there's two right here to take this harness out. We're going to take that out and then we can remove the light out of there. Take that one out there. And these two need to come out. I get this out of here there's four little bolts right here there's some little keepers on there that we're going to pop off of there with the pliers here we'll grab the little pliers i'm going to take this guy out like that i'm going to come over here where y'all can see the camera a little bit better we're going to take them little guys off right there because that's got to come out of there in order to get the light out of your 
factory folder here. Little metal keepers. There we go. You, know, you got it on there? In order to take these off, we're going to put half, a half inch socket on there. And it's a lot faster to take that off. Once you get that off of there, that's going to come out. Okay. I'm going to get a screwdriver, needle nose pliers. If you got a little bit better, this is the vice grip needle nose pliers, a little more pain in the butt. But in order to keep this, there's a little plastic keeper right here and right here. Well, there's a little pin that goes through that plastic keeper, and you got to come from the inside to get that thing out. I do those before I take your adjuster loose on there. But you got to get them little pins through there. And then we're going to put it in our other uh, one that we've got made. And then there's the little pin. I didn't have to quite take it all the way out. It could have stayed in that little little guy. Try and see where y'all can get where y'all can see it. That just pushes through. You don't have to take the pin all the way out. If you do it that way, then you gotta put the pin back in the other one. But that's how it happened, so we'll do it that way. And here I'm gonna take that same nut driver with the eight millimeter on there. That's the adjuster. That's your adjustment for your up and down on your light. We've got to take that loose so we can put it in our new bracket. Just like that. When that bolt comes out, keep your little spring and your light's just going to come out just like that. Okay? You're removing it out of that factory one. Okay? We're going to come over here. I'm going to grab. Where did I put it? Right here it is. You can see how we got this one in there, okay? There's there's some little bolt, quarter inch bolts that you use to bolt this in. But to put this one on here, let's go back over here, Jonathan. That's where I got my stuff. You're going to put that in there. Sorry, I had it backwards. You want those tabs facing back towards the back side of the light. You insert that in there in between and we're going to reapply those little plastic tabs, connectors, whatever you want to call them, back in there. Okay, we're going to do the same thing with the other side. A little bit more of the pain because I already pulled that little pin out. Which is no big deal. It pushes back in there, and you can kind of see how we just we've repinned it just like it came out of the, out of the truck. Okay, so we are going to. Okay, there, I'm going to get a quarter inch washer. I'm going to put our spring back in there, just like it was. I'm going to put a washer there so our bolt won't go through the little hole there. And you're going to screw that down. Over here I got my little nut driver. I'm going to screw that back down in there. Same way it was in your other factory housing. I'm kind of looking at it there just so you know it's about level in there. Get about where it's a little bit level. You don't want to compress that spring all the way though. Okay, stop before you do. If you have to, you can bend a little tab on the front end if you needed to. Okay, but that's how you put your light in there. And once you get your light in there, you come over here to the front end. And just like the other side, you got one, two, three quarter by one bolts. You're going to do that. And then you're going to go ahead and put your hardware on it. Okay, so that's how you put your lights in. Again, like I said, you're going to take the factory um, wire harness out of the bumper and you're going to reinsert in here. Plug it back up in here and take some wire ties or whatever and get the slack and the wire tie it up on the little bars there where your lights are mounted to. And after that, then we got to go ahead and put the mounting brackets on the truck. Once you get the mounting brackets on the truck, this is what we call the shoe right here. This is going to bolt to the 
um, face plate on your truck that the bumper came off of that's got two bolts this is actually going to bolt to the bracket um, up underneath that we're fixing to show you how to put on so let me come over here and I'll show you how we did this we put one side on already just to refresh our memory again too but this is where that strap is it's going to bolt to the bottom this is going to go on the back side it's a reinforcement plate also for the frame okay because this bracket's actually welded to your tow hook if you take this bracket off your tow hook comes off too okay but in order to do that Dylan go ahead and get me the air hose over there we're going to take off there's two outside Jonathan if you want to move to the other side we can do it a little bit better on the other side here we're going to remove these two nuts right here okay the other way go ahead and you want to keep your factory hardware that you're, you're going to use your factory hardware okay that's a little keeper it's got the two bolts on there yet you're going to put that back in there i'm going to put those on there back on there like that you get a little another set of hands sometimes it where's that other bolt yeah you know, that's the other bolt put that nut on there and that's how that bracket goes on there you can you can tighten it down a little bit but don't don't snug it all the way because when you start getting that front end up there you want to get you're going to have the two half by one and three quarter no I'm sorry half by two and a half bolts that we provide in there um, the hardware kit once you get the front end bolted up here you want to get the front end up and down a line and tighten that first that way you can get all that um, aligned together once you've got that then you can tighten these side ones because you don't want it to not pull up and suck up real good against the bracket so but that's how you put that bracket on there and we're going to get somebody to help us hang this front end and we'll show you how to align everything and get everything tight a couple of guys we help hang this thing real quick um, as we said we showed you where all the bolts were supposed to go before we hung it to get this thing level we ended up putting a jack up underneath there it helps you get it up this one here you want to jack it up almost as high as it'll go what I like to do is have that three quarters of an inch gap all the way underneath between the floor plate and then the lights and all that. That way, when you go through the pasture, speed bumps, whatever, you got a little bit of plate in the um, front end and the body of the truck, and you're not going to smash anything. We went ahead and got the jack underneath here. Like I said, we got it up. We went ahead and um, measured whatever you get about three quarters. You want to measure from the light to the inside of your loops, and that's how you get things um, good from side to side. What we do is we back to get it up um, right to left. We get back and we'll eyeball this little bar right here. Maybe you can go by your in, your little divider between your turn and light, or you can go from here to the hood line too. You just want to get back right, line up the sticker right there with your rearview mirror, and that's way you know you're right in the center and you can get it right. But just go ahead and eyeball it out from side to side, get it right and just make sure all the bolts are tight. Um, we showed you where all the bolts and all that go, but just double check twice to make sure all your bolts are tight. Once you're done, you're good to go with the 2011 through 2016 Ford Super Duty 25-3500 Frontier front end replacement. Thank you.